gospel of life, incorruption, immortality, and sonship with the bondservant of Christ, John Anosike. If you go against the law of the body, you will begin to defunction. You will begin to go in a grave before you are. You don't even have a time to go to the grave. You shouldn't even actually go to the grave. The reason why we have a dysfunctional body is because we've gone against the law of the creator of the body. One of the ways you destroy your body is sex outside marriage. Because the Bible says it is a sin against your body. So God gives you a body. So you are responsible for your body. Stop troubling him. <laughs> Papa, God, where are you? God, where are you? So you want him to give you a body and control it for you? You then see that he's a control freak. You will still accuse him. He gave you a will to be independent. You still accuse him for the wickedness in, in the world. Is it not the world that is altering genetic codes, creating human demons, that in their genetic consciousness, they have infused a certain animal gen gene that will cause an average human to be sexually uncontrollable. If you break the law of your creation, if you tamper with your genetics, if you tamper with your chromosomes, if you go against the law of the body or the law of God's you know, a, a position and concerning you, you have sinned against yourself and you have disaligned. You have come out of alignment of sustainability or sustenance that is within the principles of your genetic coding. When the Bible says that uh, the angels sinned and they are being held in an everlasting chance, what was the sin of angels? The sin of angels were that they left their first estate. They left their first habitation. You know, of course, you, you know that habitation has to do with their bodies. You know, habitation sometimes... If you look at it from, from the natural point of view, you think the habitation is your home. You see, because we don't understand scriptures. The, the, the scriptural terminology differs from our natural understanding of things. Habitation for you as a natural man is your home. Your houses, your physical houses, like where you came from. But in the sight of God and according to scriptures, habitation is your, your body temple so they left their estate because as angelic creatures you are not under any gender you don't have sex you don't you are not created to have sex so the angels have the capability because they were watchers of men they were watchers Watch us over the earth. So God gave them access to also take on human forms. Because you can't help man without having access to human bodies. So when this watchers, when this angelic watchers over humanity, over the earth, the keepers of the earth have left the estate, they took on human forms and then developed capability to have sex and feel for the daughters of men. And the Bible says that they left their estate permanently and didn't return into that angelic habitation. They became humans permanently, but with a, an angelic bloodline, with an angelic gene. And the Bible says that they had lust over the daughters of men and they fell with them sexually and because of that they procreated giants upon the earth so those creatures 
that came through the procreation between angelic creatures and mankind corrupted the DNA corrupted the genetics of mankind so in the realms of the spirit the sustenance of the human race the power that upholds the sustenance of human race shifted was distorted and man began to leave the radar of God's upholding power because man became corrupt so God's anger rose for instance children of those days were perverted because the genetics the gene has been corrupt they were no longer humans they were hybrids of spirits with man so when you look at them they are not behaving contrary to how they should have lived so the rot of god came the sentence is, is applicable if you depart from the principles for which god has made you or for which god has made a thing you're going to go out of alignment and the moment you go out of alignment you face the consequences of not being in alignment it's important that we notice this things that the sons of god saw the daughters of men that they were fair and they took them wives of all which they chose and the lord said my spirit shall not always strive with man for that he also is flesh yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years there were giants in the earth in those days and the also after that when the sons of god came in unto the daughters of men and they bare children to them the same became mighty men which were of old men of renown when we break the genetic code of humanity we've opened an absolute entering point for demons to invade that individual and our world and satan knows that this is the only way he would have absolute control and that's why he is bringing what we call transgender where a man is becoming a woman a woman is changing into a man and they say it's a, it's a transgender thing listen transgender or what they call genetic modification of a woman into a man is actually an open door for demons that's what they did in genesis that attracted the wrath of god because you have just messed up what god says it should be you should be a male but you're turning yourself into a woman you're moving from a woman into a man that's a genetic alteration and once that is done you've opened the door for demons that person in the sight of God will never make it to heaven is a direct candidate to hell Pastor God, you, you could have got into trouble I'm already dead Hey, get it, get it, get it, get it. That's why we, we kept quiet and then forcing distance in, in schools. Manipulating children. Let them arrest everyone. They wouldn't have an, enough prison. When everybody starts speaking out, they wouldn't have enough prison. Well, because we, we, we are cowards. We just, Jesus will do it. No, he will not do it. We will do it. Special announcement from the office of the bond servant of Christ, John Anosike. Please beware of fake accounts on social media, be it Facebook, 
YouTube, and all others impersonating the man of God, asking for funds from people. Please note, Pastor John does not have any orphanage in Nigeria or in any country, nor does he ask anyone to donate to any orphanage. Also note that the only official page of the man of God Pastor John Anosike is the one with over 451,000 followers. Our YouTube channel also has over 155,000 subscribers. Note that the man of God does not chat, send friend requests, nor inbox people on social media, be it Messenger or WhatsApp. Therefore, anyone doing such is false and should be treated as such. This is a notice that you are informed and sensitized to be alert and vigilant. Stay connected and keep subscribing to the teaching of the bond servant of Christ, John Anosike. Due to malicious and fraudulent activities, please note that these are the only official two accounts of the ministry. For EFT or bank transfer, bank, First National Bank, FNB, account name, New World Faith Ministries, account number 6226048, branch, Woodstock. Branch code 250655. Swift code FIRNZAJJ. Building project banking details. City of Sons. Bank. First National Bank. FNB. Account name. New World Faith Ministries. Account number 623-569-03578. Branch code 250655. Branch, Woodstock. Swift code, F-I-R-N-Z-A-J-J. To give online, kindly visit our website and use the following link. www.spiritrevelationchurch.org forward slash give. Here, you can give via Payfast for those that are in Southern Africa and PayPal for international donations. Good news for all those living in West Africa. For your giving and donations, here are the only official and approved banking details. Name, Ikechuku John Anosike. Account number, 11700020753. Bank, Zenith Bank. Please note that the following is our official and only PayPal email for the ministry. Donations at spiritrevelationchurch.org. Kindly report any suspicious activities to our emergency line. Plus 27634235895 or email info at spiritrevelationchurch.org.